Hi, I'm Howard Marks, and this is How to Think About Risk. Now let's talk for a while about the relationship between risk and return. This is one of the most important of all the topics. When I got to University of Chicago, the Chicago School of Theory with regard to investment had just been developed mostly between 62 and 64, and I arrived in 67. And there was a graphic that we saw all the time. It shows uh, return on the vertical axis, risk on the horizontal axis, and an upward sloping line to the right. We call that a positive correlation. One goes up, the other goes up as well. Now, most people would look at that graphic and say, well, that means two things, that uh, riskier assets have higher returns, and uh, if you want to make more money, the way to do it is to take more risk. I think that's a terrible formulation. Very simply, if it were true that riskier assets produce higher returns, then they wouldn't be riskier would they? So that can't be the right explanation. What the upward sloping line, the positive correlation, means is that investments that are perceived as being risky have to be perceived as offering higher returns to induce people to make those investments. That makes perfect sense. The only thing is they don't have to deliver. And it's from the possibility that the projected returns will not be delivered that the risk ensues. When you look at the old graph, the linearity of the relationship between risk and return implies a dependable relationship. And I've always felt that that was misleading. I was never happy uh, when I got out into the real world and, and, and had to live with the consequences. And so I developed my own version of that chart. I took some little bell-shaped probability distributions and I turned them on their side and I superimpose them on the same line. It's the same underlying line, just now with some embellishment. With the old graph, as you moved from left to right, the risk increased and the return increased. But with this new graph, as you move from left to right, the expected return increases just as it did in the old one, but at the same time, the range of possibilities becomes wider and the worst outcomes become worse. That's risk. This is the way to think about the risk-return relationship.